What's going on everybody? How are you doing? In today's video, we are doing a donation request. This is for Todd. Todd asked for Space Oddity, right? David Bowie's Space Oddity. But this is a revised version of David Bowie's Space Oddity recorded by Commander Astronaut Chris Hadfield on board the International Space Station. So this guy's performing it in space. Whoa. <laughs> Wild. Wild, wild, wild. So that's what we're checking out today. And also, you know what I'm going to tag on the end? I'm going to tag. He has a uh, a video of Chris Hadfield breaking down the video. So we're going to check that out after we listen to a song. So stay tuned for till the end for all of it. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon Wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to watch, listen to, talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, in the notes section, leave a link, leave a description, let me know what you want. The video to be on and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Okay, so first up the music video, Space Oddity, right? You know the song, you love the song, right? Classic David Bowie. It's not, it's actually not my favorite David Bowie, but you know, David Bowie's one of those artists, bands, groups like Rush, that decades of albums and there's always periods and stuff that's like, you know, people like their specific periods, like, you know, 74 to 82 and things like that. You know, I like early David Bowie. There are other early David Bowie stuff that I like more than Space Oddity, but I also like, there's a lot of David Bowie that I like. But anyways, that'll be a different video maybe. For now, let's check this out, Bam. <laughs> Got the piano, got these sounds happening. Oh, it sounds like strings. Some kind of or a synth pad or something. Ground control to major tom. Ground control to major tom. Nice mic on that. Lock your Soyuz hatch and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on. Detach from station and may God's love be with you. Right. Editing the vocals, the, the lyrics, obviously. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grade. It's not that bass. And the papers want to know whose shirts you Got wear. Got some hair on it. But it's time to guide the capsule if you dare. He's an astronaut, not a this singer, okay? He's doing a good job. To ground control. I've left forevermore. And I'm floating in a most peculiar way. And the stars look very different Nothing left. 
Practically doesn't even look real, it's wild. Very cool. Nice. Okay, yeah, all the, all the, yeah, we'll get into that. Cause I'm, I'm going to do the next video, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, with this guy, Chris Hadfield, him talking about it. Okay. So I could say good cover, bad cover, right? Wow. Good cover, bad cover. Uh, I would say this is a good cover. This is, this is pretty cool. I really like that he changed the lyrics. Like he adjusted cause this guy's an actual astronaut, not, you know, a musician, <laughs> you know? But so I like that, you know, he kind of like added, you know, what he probably thought was more appropriate or correct or whatever. I, I like that. I thought that was good. Um, I thought this is a great version. Yeah, very cool. Obviously, the image, this is all about the music video and the images, right? Really, really cool stuff. Great, great, cool stuff. I'm almost more excited to get into this, uh, him talking about it, bringing it down. Okay, now I think it'd be really cool to get into this next video. This is astronaut Chris Hadfield breaks down his space oddity video, right? Let's just let's just do this. This is probably going to be pretty hip. Bam. It's actually hard to play a guitar in space because every time you move your hand up the neck, the guitar just goes takes off. There's nothing to hold it in place. You need a strap, bro. Now got straps in space. I shot this entire video myself. You don't want to bother anybody else on the spaceship. Whoa. They're all busy. And this was just sort of a fun project I did with my son wow. and a couple musician friends on Earth. Wow. The piano is really nice. Yeah, I like the piano. Some people wonder what took this picture. Yes. This is actually the space shuttle flying around the space station took this picture through the overhead windows. We called it the fly around. Yeah. That's my bedroom on the spaceship right there. I would stick this sign up so people would be quiet while I was recording music. Whoa. Ground control to major time. Yeah, the, the it's microphone. It's so hard to get the lighting right here. Look close to my face. You can see two lights shining on my face so that it won't be uh, underexposed against the lightness of the earth in the background. Mm. If you float a camera in space, there's enough air moved around by the ventilators that the camera will turn very slowly, sort of like floating in the water. So I would take the camera and mount it on just a little flexible arm or Velcro it to the wall just to keep it straight. Ground control to major time. Wild. He did it all himself. That's wild. It took about an hour and a half to make all these videos. Just one Saturday wow. afternoon in the time on my schedule where it said time off, I just uh, took my vocal recording that I'd done and I just floated around the space station singing along with myself. Wow.
I've always been a musician, and I, I fronted bands for 25 years in Houston. Wow. And I'd never played a Bowie tune before in my life before I got to Orbit. To cover Bowie is arrogant. It's like <laughs> it's like covering Bach wow. or something. I'm just going to play the little ELO. You know, you just you just don't do it. Uh, it's really hard to control the guitar and accurately play. And the producer that I was working with on the ground, he actually sent me a note saying, "Hey, your guitar playing is really messy up there." I'm like, "You come up here and play guitar. <laughs> this is a hard place to this play." This is a great video. You're uh, the guitar just won't sit still in your hands. This is ground control to Major Tom. You've really made the grave. I like the his and vocal the sound actually. Especially at the beginning, because it just kind of sounds like... All around like... the spaceship, there are foot restraints. There are little loops or little handrails so that oh. you can momentarily stabilize yourself by hooking your toes underneath. Yep. But if you very carefully pop your toes out, then you'll just sort of float in the middle of the spaceship. And I thought while I was making this video, people should see that I'm uh, truly yeah. on board a spaceship. These aren't special effects. And I'm floating in well, yeah. The internet chose this song. The internet is why I sang Space Oddity on the space station. I recorded an original tune on the space station that my brother and I wrote called uh, Jewel in the Night. And when people heard there was someone recording up on the space station, mm. there was a big internet demand oh. to do a cover of Oddity. So, so I did, cool. and uh, it turned out nice. Wow. Bowie wrote Space Oddity when he was 19, turning 20. He wrote it as a result wow. of the movie uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. And because Apollo 9 and Apollo 10 had gone, and Apollo 11 was coming, and he realized, we're going to walk on the moon. And so he was fascinated by space flight and the loneliness of it, and he guessed what space flight would be like. Right. But we changed the words for this yeah. song. We updated it. It's been 40 years. I think that and that he was approved a good... it. He loved this version of the song. Cool. He described it as the most poignant version of the song ever done. Very cool. And I got to know him a little bit. Wow. And the fact that Bowie wow. loved this version of the song, for me, that, that was the best part. That's it was pretty his song, cool. not mine. And it gave him a lot of pleasure in the last couple of years of his life. Bowie and, and all of the lawyers that work with him and his organization, they gave us permission to do it. And, and I'm glad they did. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, an actual astronaut wants NASA to do it in space. NASA is tens of thousands of people. Crazy. I think, overall, uh, they saw that it allowed people to see space flight for what it really is. It's people exploring the rest of the universe, living in an environment we've never been in before. We're up there just experiencing things like anybody else is. We're taking the culture we were raised with to a new place and adapting it. And that, I think, is a healthy, natural thing to do. And so uh, NASA, to a large degree, really loved it. And, and there's all sorts of stuff that NASA is doing now, using social media, using YouTube, using technology on board to try and help people understand space flight even better. On my first space flight, there were no digital cameras. Mm. So every picture was film. There was no internet. And in fact, real-time communication with the, with the ship was just by radio. It is really difficult to share a magnificent experience just by radio. Now, on board the spaceship, you can take a digital photograph and within minutes just hit send or write a few words about it and send it out on Twitter or whatever. Wow. And a billion people can see what you're doing, can, can maybe sense and, and share in the experience. And to me, that's great. Imagine if while Michelangelo was yeah, lying in his back painting the Sistine Chapel, if he'd had a webcam next to him, and if you could have asked him questions. We have no idea what Michelangelo was thinking. We only see the end result. I Sometimes think it's better that way. Understanding the process and the human side of it <laughs> Just saying, is a really important you know, part the of mystery. the creation of new things and the exploration of new places. I'm Commander Chris Hadfield. I really hope you enjoy learning how I made this uh, Space Oddity video. There's a lot more videos I made up there as well, talking about everything that happens on a spaceship. You should watch. Very cool. Yeah, that was super cool. That, that, was, that was pretty cool. Super cool. And yeah, the whole Bowie thing, that was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. This was great to watch, both both together. I'm glad that I put them together, and I think that that makes <clears throat> the video better. Wow, amazing. See what I do for you guys? <laughs> I could have just done the song, but I feel like, you know, this makes it even, even, even better, and you hear the stories and how he's doing it. Really, really, really awesome. It makes it, yeah, this is a great cover.
Great cover. Super awesome. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll catch you in the next video.